Okay, today we're going to use Google Chrome and Weebly to add product blocks on your Weebly page. So here again, we're at Weebly.com and we're going to log in. Um, of course, you can sign up for free. So I'm just going to use uh, Jay Smith at AverageStudentDesigns.com because that's the one that I've already made up from my original video. Um, add the password. You also have a com the option for your computer to remember me. You click that and log in. And then you're going to be asked to either save your password or never for this site depending on the browser that you use. Now here it is, this is John Smith's website. And you can edit. And we're back to John Smith's website. Now here we're going to add a page. And this is just going to be the page where you sell stuff. So stuff for sale. Then I'm going to move the page up to right after the home in the menu bar and edit the page. Now we're going to scroll down and you have your area to add elements. Put a little title here. This is where we're selling things. We're going to go to the revenue tab. You have a whole bunch of product blocks. First I'm going to set up multiple columns so we can put more than one product block in an area. I'm going to set this to four tabs. Now back to revenue. And we're going to get in four blocks. Now here's where they're going to ask you to set up either a Google account or a PayPal account if you have one already. Um, I'm just going to exit out of this because I don't have one that I'm going to use for this so that people can't buy stuff. So again we go to the revenue tab. and grab a product block and drag it down. Alright, now that we have our products full, we're going to uh, click here to edit. And that way you can add a picture. I'm going to use the koala because he's my favorite little guy. add them to everything. Alright, that's where your description goes. So this is the description. Um, that's what your customers will see on their receipt. And then of course you automatically have the add to cart button. Now a lot of people want to get rid of stuff when they're done selling it. So you hit the little X in the top right hand corner and it deletes. Publish. Now let's go out to our website. Now you can see the stuff for sale tab. Click on it. We are selling things. Yay. And there's our product. Now because I didn't add anything when I click it, it doesn't go anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to one of my customers websites where we already have this set up so that you can see how it works. Alright, here we are at Columbia River Diamonds. Um, just a simple jewelry shop, I guess. Uh, we're going to go to rings. And here at Columbia River Diamonds, they sell all sorts of rings. So we're going to click Add to Cart for one of the rings. Oh, here's where you're going to be putting the price and the description. The cost automatically links up to whatever you use. Uh, Columbia River Diamonds uses PayPal. And so now we have stuff for sale or that we're buying from PayPal. Now your customers can also click the remove button to take everything off of here. And then they can continue shopping. They can also continue shopping before removing things or they can just purchase stuff. And that is it.